welcome back to Shea Chef Willie. Thanks for tuning in. Tonight we are going to be doing uh, kind of a southern Mediterranean dish uh, with flounder and a tapenade. Um, we're going to make a tapenade, uh, smear it across the flounder, roll it up and, and make what's called a ballotine. It's a French technique for um, rolling a piece of protein up and poaching it. We have about a half a cup of black olives. Uh, these are actually Tagadash or um, Kalamata olives that are pitted, uh, whichever your preference. And um, you use a little bit of lemon rind, and or you salt, pepper, olive oil, a uh, touch of lemon juice, and mix it up in my mortar and pestle, all right? All right, so we're gonna take our olives, and we're just gonna spread them out on our board. We're just gonna help out our um, mortar and pestle a little bit, getting it started by just chopping into them. Sometimes it's nice to do this for your blender or other mixing, mixing options. Our mortar and pestle, let's dump them right in. And I'm also going to take a, uh, a little bit of garlic. And scoop that right in. It's about a half a clove of garlic. Now we're gonna add uh, just like a half a tablespoon of lemon juice. I'm sorry, half a teaspoon. And then we're gonna also use a, a zester. You zest four or five times in here to add some nice brightness and flavor. And then I'm gonna do about a half a tablespoon of olive oil. Just a, a pinch of salt, a couple pinches. Can't forget the season. And then a couple twists of black pepper. And we're gonna just start working it. Just start breaking it up. It's gonna take a little while. It's pretty pureed out. It's still got some small chunks here and there, but that's normal. You know, if you don't have a mortar and pestle, you can just do this with a chef's knife. Just kind of chop away at it. Um, now we're going to set this aside and we're going to bring our flounder over to lay it right on our cutting board. And we want to be sure to season this with a little bit of salt and pepper first. And then we're going to take our spoon and just spoon it right on top. It's a nice, healthy portion. And just smear it across there. Smear it all the way up and down. Don't have to have it too thick, but just to where it's Nicely covering it, and something that'll stay in the layers once we roll it up. We're going to take about a square foot piece of uh, plastic wrap. We're simply going to pick up our fish and lay it right into the center. Uh, we're just going to roll it up like this, just nice and gently, all the way to here. And then we're going to move it back to the edge, just like that. And then we're going to simply begin rolling the plastic with it just like this just keep it very tight and firm all right all the way to the, the other end and then we're going to make sure we don't ha we have as little air in there as possible and we're going to roll this tight we're going to hold one end and roll it up like this all right and then we're gonna take this and just tie it off as tightly as possible. We'll concentrate on the other end just to make sure that this is snug, but the next one's the most important. Just like that. And then we're gonna turn it around and push it tight against that, pull it all out, and let's tighten it up. The French call this a boudin. It's a, just like boudin noir, a blood sausage. So. We're going to make sure this knot is as tight as we can get it. Lop off the exterior pieces of plastic. And we're gonna, this is ready to drop into uh, the water we're poaching. Pop it in there and put a timer on for seven minutes. Okay, so once I pull it out of the water, I've cut open the, uh, the plastic and it's kept its form. Uh, I'm just going to slice it one time to expose the, the interior. Just one nice cut with a sharp knife. Just hold it tight. I don't want to fall apart on you, but that's okay. It still tastes delicious. I'm just going to place it back onto our dish while we get ready to plate. Alright, well there you have it. Our uh, Mediterranean dish accompanied by our garnish from our last video. It's artichokes berry gold. And it 
It's mixed in with uh, pea puree and roasted fennel, upon which we topped uh, with our flounder and our homemade tapenade. It's ballotine, good technique to remember. Please uh, let me know in the comments uh, if you have any questions about that, how I explained it to you today. A nice wine I wanted to mention that um, I like to put with this is uh, southern food, usually like southern wine, so I, I like a southern white uh, cassis wine, uh, wine from cassis. All right, thanks for stopping by. Chez Chef Willie, South Georgia raised and French braised.